YouTube, what it is, yeah. Um, today I'm gonna be putting the Hollow Sun onto the Stealth Arms platypus. You know the official Mega Guns platypus. Um, it's not really that difficult. I already looked at a video on how to do it. Um, it's not difficult at all. I'm also gonna be doing a partial fill strip, um, removing the slide from the frame, but I won't be removing the um recoil spring or the barrel I'm just going to be removing the slide from the frame and now i have to um slide down the hammer stop and um it's a screw in there to remove the cap i'm gonna remove that then go ahead and put the um hollow sign up there and they also got a cool little rear sight to put you know like a rear iron sight to put behind your optic to co-witness you know what i'm saying so that's what i'll be doing today i'm gonna be shooting it from the overhead giving y'all the view of the gun and what i'm doing so see y'all on the tape so let's go ahead and open it up get out the necessary tools that they provided, you know, the screws, the little Allen wrenches, and the rear sight. Put the bag over to the side. All right, so. And you know, all we have to do here is, like I said, remove the slide from the frame. And as you know, let's get it right there to that notch. There it is. Remove the slide from the frame. Pretty much sit the frame to the side because all you're gonna be doing is pushing this, the little firing pin in, moving the hammer stop down a little bit and there's a screw. Let's go ahead and get to that. want to press down on that and you slide this down just a little bit you don't got to remove it you just want to get to that little screw right there put the allen key in remove the screw Cap. And you want to save this screw. And this is the Hollow Sun. 407k with the grain dot you know this got the grain fiber optic all of my dots are red dots i do have one on my 300 blackout that can go from red to green but this one i just wanted to go ahead and try a grain dot got some screws in here well, they provided the screws, so I'm pretty sure I won't be needing their screws. But let's get to it. Battery is already inside it. See, this is already perfectly cut. It's direct, don't need no plate or nothing, just direct to the slide.
get my screws. Let's see what. That's just a little rear iron sight I was talking about that you put on. And I know this is the screw for that. And these have to be the screws for the optic. It has 15 inch pounds of torque. So I'm gonna be using the wheel of fat wrench. And let's see. None of these bits usually ever fit in anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, got my other bits. Let's see. That's the 15 is common. It's too big. Let's see the 10. Okay, so these are Torx 10. Fifteen inch pounds. Let me get my lock tight. Tripping. The one thing I don't got up here on the table, out of everything that I do have, I forgot to grab my lock tape. Okay. The lock tape, blue lock tape. On the um and they said put lock tight on this screw too. What I like to do is I will just, you know, get the screws in. Get them in to where they stop. Then I'll go ahead and, you know, torque them down to the 15 inch pounds. And they said for the um, rear sight, it doesn't really have to be, you know, torqued down too tight. So, I'm just gonna, um, I think they were, let me see if they, the second Allen key is for this. Alright, the 
issue I was having, y'all. I'm gonna see if I can show y'all this. It's a pin right here that holds the barrel link. And that pin is very loose. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but it is very loose. And sometimes I overlook when it's out of place. And I did not notice that until I was going, until I really looked closer. And I mean, it's, it moves at the slightest level. Take down pan right. And it needs to be. Alright. It's a nice little co-witness in breast sight. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see if you can see that. Let me see how it looks. See, I need to, it looks like it needs to go up and to the right. But yeah, I'll probably be going to the range to get this zeroed, you know. But let me go ahead and do my little, turn it down some too. To get your dot to go up, you want to turn it down. So counterclockwise is up. You want to turn it clockwise to go down to move the dot up. To the left a little bit so to move it to the left you want to turn it to the right counterclockwise to move you want to move your dot to the left you turn your you turn it to the right and same thing with you know vice versa you want to move your dot to the right you turn it to the left you want to move your dot down you turn it up you want to move your dot up you turn it down so that's how it works so I need to move this one to the left a little bit See if y'all can see this dot. It's gonna it might be difficult on the camera for me, but let's see if I can show y'all a little something. There we go. There we go. There we go. So yeah, yeah. It's the hollow sign. Onto the platypus. OMG, official Mega Guns platypus. You <laughs> feel what I'm saying? Official Mega Guns joint. Alright, until next time, y'all.